So a friend of mine's mom, she, <laughs> all he said to me in his text was, mom fell and banged up her knee at the ER with her now. I'm not showing you the picture because for those of you who don't like this thing, it, it would really gross you out. I don't think you can show that on YouTube anyway. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's graphic. It's I can bad. show you a picture of his mom's gash. Yeah, go right ahead. Got, there it is. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm right. That's two gash jokes. That is row. two, two in a row. <gasps> oh, we're we're on comedy gold I, today, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had in one of my Instagram stories, somebody said something about who's my favorite porn actor, and I said your mom. <sighs> and I had a I had a stupid baby reply back on how how rude that was, and I I replied back and said you must be new to the channel. Yeah. It's and I, I explained. I said it's a constant. It was just a joke, and they were very sweet and said, oh okay, then it's okay. Maracho. Um. <laughs> Follow. Subscribe. Wow. Today we got a video. This is the best Punjabi street food. Oh! Amritsari food tour. Oh! I'm hoping we go. I'm hoping they go to uh, some places we went. We to, went to. Uh, because uh, this was filmed in the 2021, so right in the middle of the pandemic. Wow! Um, but uh, the. That was my favorite food we ate. Yeah, I know. And we was, ate so much great no, food. No, like, we had great food, but you had a particular fondness for Punjabi food. Although that, that palace food in... in that Dubai was incredible. Even though that was way too spicy for me, yeah. it was so freaking it delicious. It was delicious. Well, you liked all the food. Like, there was oh, yeah. one place we ate close to the end of the trip in Mumbai where they took us, and a, a lot of the food was a bit on the hot side for you, but it was still... You, you I think found that, it to be I delicious. Think right, I think you're right. When we sat down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Floor. Yeah, that was the right stuff. Yeah, that never made it to the channel because the footage was terrible. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, but any old who. Yeah. But so this is a food video. Uh, God, that was so good. If you haven't watched ours, I do. That thing has the most views from any of our. That has two million views now. Wow, really? On our our food food vlog. Wow. Um, and so I, I'm very happy about that because that was one of my favorite videos. There wasn't. Now that I think about it, there wasn't any bad food. There wasn't one bad food experience. Uh, Not one. That massive dali we had. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Not one bad experience. Well, we tried uh, pawn again. It was still disgusting. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the flaming pawn in New Delhi. We didn't fly training. We didn't, no, we were there. Flaming. They were doing it. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't flaming, though. I don't no, 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 no. We, ate, we just we had, had regular, regular, pawn, regular pawn. And it was still gross. You wouldn't eat it because you're never going to let them put their hands in your oh. mouth. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Today we're on a street food tour in Amritsar and we get the day started with chai to get yeah. the tea started. Let's go. Gianni Tea Stall, which has been recommended by Deepak, who's picking us on the tour. That was tea the first time. place we went. So this specific tea stall we ate at that table. Years old and it's That's like where we had the breakfast, wasn't it? Back in there. And everyone who visits here, from politicians to celebrities, yep. make sure to have a chai we right have, here. Let's taste it. We've had that chai and chai. we've eaten it's some chai. breakfast there. Yes. So right now they are dropping the cardamom, getting it ready. So it's a cardamom milk tea. Over there you've got the milk and the tea and the cardamom all being mixed up beautifully. And this Which tea stall them? specifically, they make tea from 5 a.m. till 8 p.m. So I just asked them how many he makes a day. And they're like, it's pointless to even count. <laughs> I'm so sure. Our chai that's ready. The cup is served in a cup because if you were to hold it so hot, have the breakfast. We're try our first sip of piping hot Amritsari chai. Taste the cardamom, the milk, the ginger, the loose leaf tea, so it's strong and got a kick with the sugar and a little bit of sweetness in it. Oh, everything you want in a tea. So you've heard of fish and chips, burgers and fries. Well, on that level is samosa and chai, a potato masala samosa from the heart of Panjab. The sweetness of the chai right after. I can go for some chai. Perfection. I drink it every day. Thank you, Andrade. Now that we are done with breakfast, it's time for a mid-morning sweet. You've never heard of it, but. We're gonna try it anyway. We are at Goenka's for some pinni and lettu. Let's go. Here we have pinni, which is a mix of lentil, dry fruits, and sugar. And here we have the famous moti chu lettu, which is a mix yeah. of gram flour, sugar, and ghee. Cannot wait to indulge. Let's try the lettu first. Mm. You know, when you think about the ingredients, you think it's gonna be super sweet, but it's not overwhelming at all. It's just perfect. 
That looks interesting. Sure, come. Indians love their sweets. Absolutely. Any so opportunity to celebrate with a sweet? Sweet shop. Now it's time for paneer burji. Hi again. <laughs> so here that we have paneer burji. Oh. Basically, what it is is like paneer, masala, onions, spices, lots of amul butter. Right. So let's put some of the paneer on here. Hot sauce, tamarind chutney. This is good. It's just so flavorful. Thank you. That's the owner of the store. So he actually cooks every dish for everyone. All the secrets, you get it from the man himself. Next up, Kesar de Lava, the most famous place in Amritsar. Let's go. So this has been the main place everyone has been telling us to visit. Kesar de Lava, which is over a hundred year old restaurant. Really? And what they say is, from when it's been started, <laughs> Till today, the flavor has stayed the same, the original style. As soon as you get into the main kitchen, you have all these stews just laid out at the front that sets the tone for what we're about to experience. All this stuff that you get to enjoy together, all these different dinner. flavors. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is the dam. This is what makes this place famous. And it has been cooking for 12 hours. Oh, oh, oh. That is a freaking giant, oh, this enormous pot of dog. But it's called fried dal. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just gonna let the camera do the talking. This is insane. And just watching it is... Oh, here we go. Someone is always moving, someone Whoa. is always cooking, someone is always serving. There is non-stop movement. I'm not even gonna look at the menu. That tali, that's what Oh! That was glistening like glory. Uh, oh! Yep. Oh! <laughs> So we have the special now, quesar de dava tali. And we have two baratas, breads, we have the fried dal that we saw creating fire and madness in the kitchen. We have our chole, which is the chickpeas. I'm starting with the fried dal. Bismillah. Unbelievable. Just take the quality of You know the ghee. It is all about the ghee. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I think that's one of the secrets of why it tastes so good. Ghee? Try the chickpeas, yeah. chole, all the spices, the chickpeas. So what this bundi raita is, it's like a yogurt dish. I think oh. what it's supposed to do is neutralize the berries. I'm neutralized. <laughs> Ready to go back in. I'm gonna be enjoying. See you in a bit. The job's done. Your food is very good. Thank you so much. It's delicious. So we have just finished our food tour of Amritsar and it's some of the most incredible, delicious and authentic food that I have ever had. And one of the things I noticed is that in most of the restaurants, it was the owners that were making the food with their own hands. There was no machinery, there was very little equipment. It was all made with their passion, with the love that they've had. And a lot of these restaurants are 50 years old, 100 years old, and they're still standing and they're still busy because they still care about every person that comes to their restaurant, that comes to their carts, to ensure that they are served with love. From Amritsar, Punjab, India. Much love and God bless. Satsriya Satsriya Um, I'm hungry. I'm hungry now. I'm very hungry. <laughs> it makes me miss uh, all the food we had. I know. In, um, in everywhere. And, and across the board, 100%. I remember when we did some of our first food tasting videos and stupid babies telling us, you haven't had Indian food till you've tasted it in India. It is 100% true. You know what it's a lot like, and this is a very pale comparison because the, the cornucopia of flavors and dishes in India is forever. But <clears throat> if you eat like a New York style pizza in LA oh, yeah. or a New York style bagel, yeah, it's not gonna be the same unless you eat it in New York because the water's different, everything. It's just, it's different in New York. Yeah, and Abalash, who obviously took us around in, uh, which I wish we had more than one day. I know. In, we had a wonderful day. It was a long day. Yeah. Uh, we literally got there very early in the morning. Yep. I think we left like at like five or six in the morning, right? I think so. Because I think we landed right as the sun was coming up. Right as the sun was coming up. And we yeah. kind of just... Yep. It was went. a blur. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> we stayed in a wonderful hotel too. Um, but the uh, the food, man, was so, so good. good. It's it similar, like if you haven't been to the United States, Southern food is is what I grew up on, and it's very soulful food. So it's all made with love. So that means butter, grease, butter. gravy, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Very unhealthy for you, but, but it's amazing. Tastes so good because uh, it's made with love. Yeah. And that's why everybody in the South is like also known as butter, a hundred pounds. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, it, it's what it reminded me of. Is it, it felt like it was like home. And ghee is absolutely <clears throat> glorious and changes everything. We were at friends of Indrani's who are here from, interestingly, from Kolkata. They're in Agora and just happened to be here at the same time we are. So we went over there and we were having dinner. Had rice. They just put some ghee on there, and some salt. I want Indian food now. Incredible. I want Indian food. Real bad. So good. Um, and chai. I want chai. We, we, every day. we should have a chai wala. Why don't we have a chai wala? I will start selling one. We've, talked, to, we've talked about the fact that we, we <laughs> wanted to create a chai stall. It would, it would do well. You could, you could set it up here first yep. and, then, and then go out. Absolutely. <laughs> I could, man, I could go for some chai right now. I wish... I know it's impossible, but there was like a little tablet that you could make actual good, it tastes like real chai in like a K-cup. Part of the fun is making it. I know, but sometimes I don't have the time to do that, Rick. I'm very busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, I was just going to say, spoken like a man uh, who's really busy. <laughs> I understand. Uh, <laughs> toddlers are crazy, everyone. Uh, you, ever, you know that? Do you know that? No, toddlers? I have no idea. It's no a, experience with it's that. It's all true what they what they say about toddlers and the fact that they just everything. They want to touch everything they're not supposed to. They want to climb on everything they're not supposed to. They're crazy. <laughs> just make sure you keep them away from ladies in the park because you don't want them touching and climbing on them. That's true. Yet. Anyways, let us know more food videos and uh, send us uh, Punjabi food in the mail. Hopefully it's still warm when it gets here. <laughs>